What's up, y'all? It's your girl JJ, and I'm back with another video. So I'm coming at y'all with another story time. But before we jump into this story time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So we're gonna jump right into this, and I don't even know what I'm gonna title it. So y'all already know when I don't have a title, we're gonna just figure it out later. But y'all, this story takes place in 2019. So remember when I told y'all that me and Freaky Man was at that restaurant and it was a boy, he hit me up on Instagram and I kind of like ignored him. So after me and Freaky Man broke it off, he ended up hitting me up. Once I deleted my Instagram, he was following me on Twitter too. So once I deleted my Instagram, of course, he couldn't contact me there. So I started noticing him on my Twitter. And I'm like, when did I add him? Y'all know how it just, it might be that one person where you'd be like, when did I add you on my social media? Like, I don't know where you came from, but you're here. So around the time where I was heartbroken behind Freaky Man, Instagram was, was going for that 30 days, I was on Twitter just simping, just sad, okay? I'm sitting there making so many tweets. I'm retweeting just sad stuff. I was really heartbroken, and I just felt like, Freaky Man is watching my Twitter. Like, I know he's watching my Twitter, so I'm going to put all this sad stuff so he can come back. That didn't work. Y'all Y'all already know that didn't work. So, in this story time, because we need to get his boy a name, we're going to call him Kai, right? So, Kai ended up, he, first he would just like all my tweets, always liking my tweets. And then I was like, okay, that's when I noticed him. Like, okay, I remember this boy from Instagram. So, one day Kai sent me a message. And when he first sent the message, he was just like, hey, how you doing? And I felt, I felt he probably knew that I was sad because there's just no way. Like, why you want to know how I'm doing all of a sudden? He asked me how I was doing. I responded back. I'm good. What about you? He basically said he was doing good and just kind of sparked up a conversation with me. Asked me how my day was. I asked him how his day was. It started off real friendly like that. So I ended up just stop messaging him. I forgot what he said, but I just kind of just stopped messaging him. I don't know. I was going through a phase. I didn't really want to talk to nobody. So yeah, the next day I see a good morning in the DM. So I'm like, okay, this boy been plotting on me for a minute. So he, you know, he really about to keep bugging me. So I respond back, good morning. We sparking up a little conversation and we're kind of like talking. And that went on, I want to say for a good week. For a, a, a seven days straight, good morning, how you doing, how your day going, what you doing. It, it really just went on for a whole good seven days. So even though I was talking to him, I was not interested. I wasn't looking for nobody. I didn't want nobody. I wanted my freaky man. I wanted that man that we used to beat them things down. Like I wanted him. So... Even though this boy is showing interest in me, I'm kind of just blowing him off. I'm one wording sometimes. I, I'm being a little weird. I was. I will say that. Eventually, when I knew that me and Freaky Man was no longer, really, after I knew he wasn't coming back on my, when he didn't show up for me on my sister's birthday, that's when I knew it was a wrap. I knew he and I were officially done. So, here come Kai saying something to me, and I kind of just gave in at that point because I was telling myself, look, you either going to be sad over this one or you going to get up under this one because y'all know what they say. Y'all know what they say. So he ended up asking me for my number. I gave him my number. He ended up hitting me up, just texting me and stuff. He did have an iPhone, so I already knew. Once you text somebody and you know they have an iPhone, just know that they're going to randomly try to FaceTime you. Just know. It's just in their nature. And I don't mind, but... And the only reason why I don't mind is because if I'm looking at a hot mess, I'm just not going to answer. And then I'm going to get myself together and then I'm going to get on. Because I, I don't know. To me, it's like an icebreaker. That's what it is. It kind of just breaks the ice. I feel, I don't know. I just feel if you're on FaceTime with somebody, it's kind of feel, it kind of feels like you're in person with that person. So, I don't know. To me, it just, it just gets me comfortable with you. So, we're talking. He's funny as I don't know what. He's like making jokes. I'm laughing at the jokes. Like, the jokes is really funny. I'm like, hold on now. And he was cute. He was cute. Like, nothing was wrong with him. But to me, I feel like when somebody's just overly cute or they just, I don't know, it's just like a certain look to some men that I kind of won't want to mess with them or take them serious because, I don't know, I just always just think, mm, mm I know you got a bitch somewhere that thinks that she's your girlfriend. And she's probably not your girlfriend, but she thinks she's your girlfriend. And you probably entertain her. But then you probably don't. But either way it go, I just know it's always just somebody. Like, it's just always somebody. 
So I don't know. I just felt like he just had hoes and I didn't want, I, I don't know. I just didn't want to deal with him at first. But when I was seeing that he was really giving me attention, I'm like, hold on now. Hold on. We might could, we, we might could uh, cook some up. So we're just talking. And then I want to say after like two, three days of him just texting me, me texting him, he ended up calling me, randomly just called me and I was at work. At my job, you already know I could do whatever. So if somebody called me, I could sit on the phone and talk. So he just had, he just so happened to have called me at a good time. I had just gave Miss Olivia her medication. She was in the kitchen just cooking and listening to her old music. Y'all, it's funny because anytime somebody would call me, the music that she would listen to was way before my time, my mama time. <laughs> like, way before a lot of people's time. So the songs that she would listen to would sound old. So when he called me, I'm like, hello. And then he was just like, hello, how you doing? Like, what you doing? And I was like, oh, nothing, just at work and stuff. And then we're talking for a minute. And it was just funny because when he heard the music, he was like, what you like, what you doing at work? Why they playing that old music? And I started dying laughing. I'm like, yeah, I do in-home care. So my client, she's cooking right now and she's playing her, her song that she likes to listen to. So he was like, oh, okay. And then he made a joke like, oh, I thought you was somewhere like back in the day. Like he's, it was, I don't remember how the joke went, but I just know I started dying laughing. Like I was laughing so hard because it was funny. And we're just talking and stuff, kind of like flirting a little bit, but we just like chopping it up, having a little conversation. And I'm just telling him, yeah, just chilling at work. Just got my feet up, you know, watching TV, looking for something to watch on the TV. He sounded good over the phone. So he just like, yeah what you been up to and when can I see you we're literally just like having a cool little conversation it wasn't awkward it wasn't weird I feel like we was bouncing off each other so it didn't get awkward or silent because once it get awkward and silent I just be feeling like damn okay so how can I exit this phone call it wasn't giving none of that like he was funny and y'all already know I love a funny man like you don't get me laughing now because yeah so yeah we're just chopping it up having our little conversation just talking and stuff so when he asked me when can he see me, oh, that's when I'd be like, yeah, um, I'm busy. I got this, got that, I got this. Like, yeah, I could squeeze you in, but I want to get a feel of you first before I meet up and link with you. Like, we have to talk for a minute to get me interested to even want to link with you. Like, don't just be like, oh, when I'm going to see you on Instagram because plan something. Tell me, hey, do you want to go out to eat or do you want to go get some drinks or, you know, plan something because no, I don't want to sit in the car when I link up with you. No, I don't. Like, it depends. It really depends. So, it really depends for real, for real. It depends on how I'm feeling. I told him that, like, yeah, when you plan something for us to do. So, he was like, oh, okay, man, like, say less. And we're talking talking a little bit more after that. And then he was basically like, okay, well, I'm going to let you go. I know you at work. I ain't trying to hold you up too long. So I'm like, all right, cool. All right, talk to you later. Get off the phone. Hmm. I'm smiling from ear to ear because I'm like, hold on now. I kind of like Kai. Like Kai, Kai's kind of, I like him. So I just was like, hmm, let me go do my little research. Because once I like somebody, I got to go research it, baby. I got to go look you up everywhere. So I go on Twitter. I didn't have Instagram at this time, so I really couldn't look him up. But I went on his Twitter. I'm looking at all his tweets. I'm looking at old pictures. He was he was just so happy to be somebody that's been on Twitter for a long time. So I'm looking at all his old tweets. I'm looking at all his pictures that he got on his media. I'm checking him out. I'm looking at all his pictures like, okay, Kai is cute. Like, I kind of, I could see me. Me and Kai being a thing. So, yeah, I'm looking at all his pictures. I'm looking through all his tweets. And y'all know that take a long time. Like, that could take up a, a very long time to just be looking through somebody's media and looking through all their old tweets. So, eventually, it was time for me to get on work. So, I sat up there and was looking through them tweets for a very long time. So, then I took his uh, Twitter name and then I searched it in on Facebook. Because, most likely, he got a Facebook and that's his Facebook name. So when I searched it, it didn't pop up. So I'm like, okay, let me, let me, let, let, let me, uh, do my research. So then I start like typing his name. So I'm like, Kai. And yeah, so eventually I found him on Facebook and everything was cool. I saw on his Facebook pictures and, you know, family posts. I'm seeing his grandma looking on his mama page, his sister, his brother. I'm looking on everybody's page. I winded up on a cousin that lives somewhere down south. Because y'all, when I get to digging, I dig deep and I want to know everything, okay? I want to know who your favorite cousin. I want to know why your baby mama don't let you see them kids. I want to know everything. I'm not saying that this was the situation, but it's just saying I want to know. Before I get serious with somebody, I want to know. I want to know. Y'all already know that I'm nosy, so that don't that don't make it no better. So, yeah, I'm just, like, researching him, and I'm 
okay, he seemed cool. I can, I, I see myself just like talking to him a little bit. Like, let's just kind of get to know each other a little bit. I'm automatically not thinking, okay, yeah, I'm gonna link with him. No, that wasn't even on my mind, but I'm just like, mm, it is what it is. But I'll talk to him to kind of get my mind off freaky man because y'all, I was down bad, okay? I was really hurt. That's the thing. I was really hurt behind freaky man. Yeah, I know I did some things, but. I was still hurt. Like, I still loved him. I still cared about him. But, yeah, I, my feelings was hurt. So, I get off work. I go home. I'm just, like, chilling in the house. And then, next thing you know, I get a text from Kai. And he was just like, what you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm at home just chilling. And then, he ended up sending, um, sending another text message saying, like, you want to FaceTime? So, I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, give me a second and then we can FaceTime. He was like, all right, bet. FaceTime me, like, when, when you ready. Y'all, I went, fixed my hair, fixed my makeup. Sometimes I would go to work with makeup on, sometimes I wouldn't. This so happened to be a day where I didn't really put too much on. So, y'all, I'm just like, you know, just touching it up a little bit. Because I like that no makeup, makeup look too. So, I'm like fixing myself up, y'all. I'm fixing my hair, making sure my edges look good. Like, I'm doing everything. So, I put on something real cute. Even though I knew he was going to be only seeing from here to here. But still, I just wanted to look cute, have my work clothes on. So, once I got done, I was nervous. I'm like, okay, it's all right. It's all right. Because, y'all, I really get nervous on a FaceTime call, like, as if I'm meeting with somebody. That's why I'm like, it's, like, literally an icebreaker for me to be on FaceTime because it makes me feel like, you know, like, we're meeting for the first time. I don't know if y'all feel like that, but that's how I feel. But anyways, so I call him. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I feel like my hand was like this. Like, I felt like my hand was shaking. That's how nervous I was. And I'm holding the camera up. I'm holding my phone up, like, and I'm trying not to stare. You know how when you face on somebody for the first time and you don't want to be staring into the face on like this. So you kind of like look away or you just like try to play with your hair or you do stuff like that. Like that was me, y'all. I'm literally like looking and looking away, looking at the camera, but like that. So he answered it, right? So when he answered, he was like, damn. And y'all, I instantly just started like smiling. I'm like, what? He was like, you look good as fuck. And I'm like, thank you. Like, Hmm. He was just like, yeah, no, you pretty. Like, you look real good. Oh, my God. And I could tell that he was in the car. So, he like, yeah, like, you look good. But he holding the phone like this, and he got his hand like this. I don't think he was driving. I just think he was sitting in his car. But he just like, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. And he's, like, hyping me up, y'all, because I'm automatically just sitting there. I'm sitting there smiling from ear to ear. Like, he already didn't got me. You didn't already got me over here just grinning and, and cheesing and looking foolish. But I'm just like, thank you. He was like, yeah, no, you look really good. Like, you're really pretty. And that's when he put the camera up. And I'm just like, okay, hold on now, handsome. So, you know, we throwing out the compliments and stuff. So, he was just like, yeah, what was you, what was you up to? Or what was you doing? I'm like, nothing. When I got off work, I just came home, just chilling, thinking about what I'm going to make for dinner. So, he was like, oh, like, what you got in mind? I'm like, honestly, I really don't know. I'm probably going to make something real simple because... I know once I leave out to go pick my baby up from daycare, I'm not going to really want to do too much. So I probably just throw some some uh, meat on the, on the stove and make like some nachos or something. So he was like, oh, okay, that's that's what's up. You be cooking? I'm like, yeah, I'll be cooking. I'll be doing a little something, something. Right. So he was just like, oh, okay, all right, you're going to have to cook me some one day. I'm like, yeah, for sure. I got you. So we just still just chopping it up, talking flirting back and forth, smiling. He's smiling hard too. I'm smiling hard. We just laughing and giggling and talking and stuff. But he was just like, yeah, I want to take you out though. So you got to let me know when you're free. And y'all, I'm like, what did I tell him I want to go out? Now I'm nervous because now I don't want to go out because I be feeling like I don't be wanting to go out because I'm going to eat very slow. I'm not going to eat fast because I don't know. I just feel like on the outside looking in, I probably look crazy when I'm eating. I don't know. I just feel like I'm probably looking crazy. So I'm just going to eat super slow so I don't look like a, a damn hungry psychopath. So I told him, okay, cool. That sounds good. All right. Like, we most definitely could do that. He like, okay, when you free? I'm like, God damn, damn. Uh, I'm like, um, so after he said when you free, I'm thinking, damn, when am I free? Knowing good and well, I'm never really free. So I told him, I'm like, I work 36 hours on the weekend, so I'm not free on the weekend. But uh, most definitely, like, during the week, it's good. He was just like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Like, that works for me, too. We most definitely got to set it up. So what weekend, what weekday are you free? Like, what day during the week? 
So I'm like, oh, like he's really, he's on it. Like he was not playing at all. So I'm like, okay, um, I don't know. Like, you know, like, I don't know about like next week, maybe the week after that. I love saying that. Like, I love telling somebody not next week, but maybe the weekend after that, because that give me time to make up a lie because I'm going to come up with a lie because I'm not going to link. I don't know. I don't know why I do it, y'all. I have to get to know you. Like, you got to apply pressure. You really have to make me feel like you're worth me linking up with you because once I link up with you and I like you, baby, you hungry? What you doing? You miss me? We go together real bad. Like, y'all, we're about to be in a relationship. So before I get myself wrapped up like that, like, I want to get to know you to see if it's worth it because I don't want to link with somebody and then it just be like, even though it's never really ever been that, like, but people end up being weird. They all weird. That's why I'm single now. But yeah, so he's just like, okay, cool. Like, that works for me. All right. What kind of food you like? I'm like, yeah, I like Jamaican food, Belizean food. Mexican food I like sushi so you know Japanese food all that I'm telling him like what I like so he was like all right bet cool 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 he's like I like Mexican food too so I'm like all right mm. so he was like all right like have you been to and he had said some restaurant I had never heard of I'm like no I never heard of it. he was like you ain't never went to Woo -woo -woo. I'm like no I haven't he was like oh my god like they got the best Mexican food they're like that's where we gonna go like that's where we going I'm like all right cool y'all I'm happy because I love a man to take the initiative to plan something like I don't feel like the man has to always plan, but baby, lead by example. You plan the first few days, then it's a wrap. I'm going to start telling I'm going to start telling you, hey, maybe we should go here. Maybe we should try this because I just, I don't know, it just makes sense because sometimes the woman always end up being the person that's always planning the dates any damn way. So yeah, I feel like the man has to, you know, take the initiative to do that. I think that's cute. I love that. Like it makes me very happy. So he like, all right, cool. And we're just talking a little bit. And then he brought up when he saw me. He was like, yeah, I remember when I first saw you and you was on you was on a date like with this boy. And he was like, man, I couldn't stop looking at you. And I'm like, really? He was like, man, I was staring at you the whole time. He was like, I was with my brother. And when y'all first walked in, he was like, I was staring you down. I was looking at you like. You was the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Like, I, that's how I was staring at you. So, I'm like, you you so fake. Like, what? I'm like, you're so fake. He was like, I'm so serious. I was sitting there staring at you the whole time. So, I'm like, oh, he got game. This one's good. He's about to get me, baby. I like you. I like you and I like you a lot. And I want you. So, I'm like, dang. Oh, my God. So, we're still just, like, talking about it and stuff. He was like, yeah. And then I DM'd you and you left me on scene. <laughs> Don't he like the message? I was like, yeah, I was in a relationship. I was like, I don't cheat, okay? I was like, mm, I don't do that. But he was like, yeah, you wifey material. I'm like, yeah, so they say. So, y'all, we're just going back and forth, just talking and stuff. And he was so cool. Like, he was so down to earth. And I loved it. I'm like, oh, I like him. I'm like, dang, I might go on that date the week after the next week after the next week. Whatever date I told him, I just might go. So, we're talking. We get off the phone and I'm smiling from ear to ear because I'm like, I like this boy. He was cool. Uh, yeah, y'all, I fall quick. Like, it be, phew, I'm just falling because I just... I don't know if we can hold a conversation i like that i love a person that i can hold a conversation with if i can't hold a conversation with you then i just feel i don't know it's pointless we don't need to be trying to pursue anything because i can't even talk to you and if i can't talk to you then there's no point so yeah i just like somebody that i feel like has the same kind of personality like me because i'm goofy i'm funny i'm a little weird sometimes but i'm you know i'm unapologetically me and i want somebody to be the same way i don't want no stiff arm that's like this no uh-uh loosen up like get a grip don't act like that so yeah i just felt like his personality would be perfect with mine and i'm like oh ooh, ooh, i like this boy so we were texting later on that night and then the very next day i go to work same stuff doing the same thing still ain't heard from freaking man you know i'm still sad i'm still hurt i'm putting sad stuff on twitter but not that much now i'm starting to feel myself so now i'm just like yeah you can't mend a broken heart when a nigga already broken like i'm saying i'm in my hard body stage like y'all know when i get in my hard body stage it'll be like yeah i don't i don't get uh, like i don't care no more so yeah i'm saying like i'm y'all the tweets is crazy <laughs> the tweets is crazy but i'm a real bad bitch. i come with my my own everything like and i'll be like come built already like y'all i'm sitting there putting all type of stuff on twitter because i'm like hold on now i really had to really let let it be known 
not only to my, my 50 people on Twitter, but to myself, like, why are you sweating a nigga that can't even afford a meal for two people? And it wasn't really about the money, but it's just like, how you sit, how you let it, and it really would play in my head, how you let a broke nigga break your heart. And I forgot where I heard that from, but when I heard that, I was like, oh, okay, hit me right in the heart, like, damn, stop telling my business. But I was just like, I had to really just get on my Zoom, like, yeah, I let a nigga with no money break my heart. I let a nigga that went out and wanted to share appetizers with me break my heart. Like, I really had to think about all the things that that man did to me, and I was just like, you know what? I'm over it. And I feel like in that moment, I was just like, mm, I'm not sweating it. Like, I was just like one of those, like, yeah, I'm back up in the field. So I'm talking to him for like the next couple of days and everything is cool. We're FaceTiming. He'll randomly FaceTime me. I'll randomly FaceTime him. We're calling. We're talking. We're really getting to know each other. And I'm actually feeling this boy. We send in pictures and stuff. Once I like you and you start asking for pictures and I start taking fresh pictures, I'm not taking the recycled ones and sending them to you. Oh, yeah, I like you. I like you a lot. So, yeah, I got pictures of him all up in my phone. I didn't set his contact with a picture. He, I didn't send him cute little sexy little pictures, too. So I'm excited, y'all, because I'm actually thinking, like, I'm going to go on this date. I'm not going to make him wait a fair word for months. I'm just I'm just going I'm gonna go on this date with him. So it's getting closer to the date. I go out, I go to the mall, and I get me a cute little outfit. I'm looking for shoes. Like, y'all, I did not play. When it came down to stepping out and looking good, I most definitely did that. But I was like, damn, do I want to wear heels or do I want to wear sneakers? And then I feel like my intrusive thoughts get to me because I'll be like, okay, but what if I'm wearing heels and I slip and fall and then I fall on my face and he don't like me no more? He think I'm a clumsy ass or something. So I'm like, okay, what about sandals? But then I'm like, nah, what if I'm wearing a sandals and I trip and fall? Like, y'all, I'm clumsy too. So that I feel like that plays a role. I'm so clumsy. So sometimes I just be like, we're just going to do sneakers because it's been times I've tripped and fell in sneakers, but I don't know. I feel, I don't know. I just feel like if I'm wearing some sneakers, it'll be a little bit more easier for me to try to catch my fall or for me to just like walk, period. So I'm like, okay. I'm going to wear these, I'm going to wear this, I'm going to wear that. So I had got like these cute little tight fitting little jeans with a lot of little pockets on them. And then I had got some uh, Jordans and a cute little sweater. It was like a, a tight type of sweater, but it was cute, y'all. It was so cute. And the shoes that I had matched the sweater. So I was like, okay, I look good. And around this time, y'all, I was going through a ponytail phase. I would not stop wearing ponytails. I'm surprised that I have hair. I shouldn't have no edges. As much as I wore ponytails, I feel like I wore ponytails for like almost... Two years straight, off and on ponytail, ponytail, ponytail. So yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do me a cute little long little ponytail, slick, curly long, okay, all the way down to the booty. That's gonna be cute. And I'm like, all right, cool. Like I got my outfit because that right there, if I don't get an outfit or if I don't look for an outfit before the time for the date, it'll be the time where it'll be the day of the date, and I put on something and I won't like, it, and I'll be like, yeah, no, I'm not going, and I would really not go. So I'm like, okay, cool. Got my outfit ready. Got everything ready. Bad. So yeah, once I established that I had my outfit, I'm like, all right, I'm really going to go on this date with this boy. So we're going to fast forward to that week that I told him that I would be available to go out on a date. I never told him a day though. I just told him that week. So he ended up hitting me up like, hey, like what day this week did you want to go out to dinner? So I told him, I'm like, um, well, I'm free on, and I told him Wednesday. So he's like, all right, cool. Like what time? And I told him mm, after 12 p.m., honestly, I'm free. So he's like, all right, bet. I get off of work at like three. Then maybe we can go out around like six, seven. I'm like, all right, cool. Works with me. So I already knew that I was going to be in a nervous wreck. Like I already knew I was going to be so nervous. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going to have everything ready. Have a backup outfit just in case I don't like the outfit that I got. You know, have another option because yeah i would ruin the whole day and be like i'm not going so the day of the day he ended up hitting me up good morning i had texted him back good morning he was just like yeah i can't wait to see you and we're just having our little conversation i would say he liked me i would say he liked me more than i liked him even though i did like him but this was somebody that already had his eye on me and i don't know why but i just feel in situationships relationships any type of ships a person gotta like you more you have the person has to like you more or it's just not gonna work if you like a nigga more than he like you it ain't gonna work 
So in my head, I'm like, okay, this works, but I don't want to like him too much. Like, I just want to keep it, keep it, whatever. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, I can't wait to meet you too. Like, I'm excited and I can't wait to try this restaurant that you swear the food is so good. So he was like, yeah, I know you're going to love the food. I'm like, yeah, they better have some good tamales because I love to go get tamales. That's like my favorite thing to do. I don't go, I never go get a burrito. It's crazy because I never get burritos or anything like that when I go to a Mexican restaurant. I literally be getting tamales. <laughs> I love tamales, but that's normally like what I get or tacos or something. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, that food better be good because you swear up and down it's good. He was like, I promise you, you're going to like it. Like if you really like Mexican food, you really going to like that food. So I'm like, all right, cool. We're talking throughout the day. I go to work. I come home from work. I'm chilling. I'm minding my business. I'm like, all right, cool. It's getting closer to the time that we was going to go on this day. I don't know why, but... I was like, because he was going to come pick me up. And normally, since I lived right by the police station, I would like go over there and just like go to the corner and have people pick me up. So I really didn't care to give somebody the address close to my house. But if you knew Horton, I could just tell you, hey, I live right across the street from the police station. And people would be like, oh, okay, cool. So I told him that. He was just like, okay, well, I can come pick you up at such and such time where you live. So I told him where I live. I'm like, I live right across the street from the police station. So he was like, all right, cool. Like, I know where that's at. We had that settled. I'm in the house and I got my music playing. I'm doing my hair. I'm doing my makeup. My hair was done, but I'm touching up my baby hair so I can put my little scarf on. So that way my baby hairs could be set and they could stay on. Stay, stay on. So they could stay done the whole night. And I'm doing my makeup. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go with something real cute, real simple, but like cute as hell. And I feel like when I'm nervous doing stuff, I have to do it really, really slow because if I rush, then I'm not gonna like it. So I'm doing my makeup super slow, doing everything. Everything's coming out cute. I'm like, okay, makeup is coming out really cute. Like I'm looking good. I finally get myself together and I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with how I look. I'm like, okay, I like my outfit. I like my hair. I like my makeup. And y'all, that was rare for me to like all of everything. It was rare. Sometimes I'd be like, okay, I like my hair and I like my outfit, but I don't like my makeup. But I liked everything. And at this time, when me and Freaky Man had broke up, I was a vegetarian, so my body was already pretty much good. Like, I wasn't, I had, I was, a, I, when I was with him, I felt like my body shape was a good, it was good. Like, my weight was really good around this time. And then when me and him broke up, I could not eat. I would not eat, y'all. I was literally stressed out. So, I was really not even eating too much. So, yeah, I'm like, okay, I look good. Body was, it was most definitely tea. Body was tea. So, yeah, it's closer to the time. He ended up calling me. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I was like, oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. He was just like, oh, like, I'm almost there. Like, I'll be there in about, like, 10 minutes. So, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I ended up getting, grabbing all my stuff, and I'm like, all right, in five minutes, I'm just going to go outside, and I'm just going to walk. <laughs> I'm just going to start walking. So, he ended up calling me, and he was just like, all right, like, I'm outside. And I'm like, oh, okay, like, what kind of car you got? So, he explained to me the kind of car he got, and I'm like, oh, okay, like, I see you. So, he was like, where you at? I'm like, I'm over here. So, then he looked. I'm like, to the left. So, he looked to the left, and he saw me. He was like, oh, okay, cool. I'm like, yeah, we still on the phone. So, I'm like, yeah, I like to um already be outside because it'd be, like, a little difficult, and, you know, parking out here be horrible. Y'all, I'm playing. I'm playing my role. I'm like, yeah, parking be horrible, so I just have to make it a little bit easier. But I didn't make it sound like as if I'm making excuses. Like, it didn't sound bad. It kind of, like, went with it, you know? So then, yeah, I get closer to his car. He get out the car, and he give me a hug. And, y'all, I first of all, I'm nervous. I feel like I was shaking, like, shaking like crazy. But I don't know. I feel like after talking to him for a minute, it wasn't that bad. Like, I didn't feel that nervous, but, yes, I was nervous. So then he was just like, you look good. You look nice, and you smell good. And I'm like, thank you. You smell good, too. And I'm like, you look good, too. You look nice, too. I'm like, okay, I see you put it on today. Like, you look good. He was like, yeah. We were standing off the car talking for a minute. So he was like, all right, like, let's get in the car. Like, let's go. So he goes on the other side, opens the door for me. I get in the car, and then he get back in the car, and then we're driving off. So he put in his GPS where we needed to go. He put that in and he was just like, yeah, like you look good. And he just like constantly just like glancing at me, but not in a dangerous way where I would have been like, fool, watch the road because I'll hit you. I don't care. I will hit you. If you're not watching the road, if you're trying to text or do anything, I will literally smack you. I don't care who you are. You will get smacked. So yeah, it wasn't like bad, but I could just see him like glancing over. And I'm just like looking around, acting like I ain't never seen where I was at. 
But yeah, I just didn't want to be on my phone. I never want to give off that impression when I go out with somebody or I'm around somebody that all I care about is being in my phone. I might want to be in my phone, but I'm just not going to do that. I just rather just stare at the window like I don't know what I'm staring at. So yeah, I'm just like looking at him a little bit and looking out the window and he's playing music, but he ain't playing the music too loud. We're still able to have a conversation, you know? So we get to the restaurant and when we get there, he opens up my door. So I'm like, oh, a gentleman. I love a man that opened the door. I think that's so cute. So yeah, I get out the car and then he was just like, I need another hug. So we ended up giving each other another hug. So I'm just like, oh, he's so sweet. Like this is about to be a good date. I just know this is about to be a good date. Okay. This might be a hubby or something. So we go into the restaurant. We get in there. We're sit. We're standing at the um at the little. Well, you know when you first come in and they greet you. So they was just like, okay, like how many? Of course, two. So they're like, all right. They go seat us. We go sit down, and he's just like staring at me. I'm getting nervous, so I'm like looking at stuff around because I don't like when people stare at me in my eyes. It makes me look like, like even if you're just staring at me, period. Like I don't know. I just get so nervous and I get to looking around. Like why are you looking at me? So yeah, I just see him just like staring at me, just smiling. And I was just like, what you smiling at? He was just like, you. Like, y'all, this man really liked me. And I was just like, I like that. I needed that, too. Because the whole time me and him was talking, I was not thinking about Freaky Man. Like, Freaky Man would not be on my mind. If he did come across my mind, it would just be like, mm, mm, whatever. He probably somewhere being freaky. But, yeah, I just, I was like, whatever. So, yeah, he most definitely had my mind off of him. And I just, I, I was enjoying his company most definitely. Even though we just had gotten, just got in the car, just got to the restaurant. I still was enjoying being around him. I didn't feel awkward. I didn't feel weird. I felt comfortable. So I ended up saying a joke because that's my favorite thing to do. I'm going to make you laugh. I'm going to say something to make you laugh because I'm getting nervous here. <laughs> Don't stare at me for too long. So I forgot what I said, but I had said something. He's just started dying laughing. Like he started laughing so hard. And he was just like, you funny as hell. I'm like, yeah, that's what they say. And he started laughing at that too. So we're just still talking. And we're looking through the menu. And I'm like, okay, I'm looking for my tamales. I'm like, tamales, 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 tamales. Because they better have some tamales. So I see a meal that came with tamales, rice, and beans. And it was like something else. I don't know. So he was like, you know what you're going to order? I'm like, yep, tamales. He was like, oh, okay, what kind of tamales you like? I'm like, I like chicken tamales. <laughs> I like chicken tamales. And at this time, I like, I just love me some tamales so he was just like oh, okay and then um i'm like what you gonna order and then he told me what he was gonna order and i'm like oh that sounds good he was like yeah that's my favorite thing to get from here it was like a, a wet burrito and i'm like oh okay i wasn't really a fan of wet burritos i don't know why i just don't want a wet burrito i probably would eat it now but yeah but that's besides the point so yeah i'm like oh, okay that sounds good and stuff so we're just conversating it felt so normal I don't know. It just felt like I knew this boy forever. I feel like he was just so down to earth. So I really just felt like I know this nigga. Like I've been doing this nigga for a long time. And that made me so comfortable. It made me super comfortable, y'all, to the point where I really just didn't even feel like this was our first date for real. Like I really feel like I've been knowing this nigga. And we, we, we're boyfriend and girlfriend at this point. I'm sitting there waiting for our food. I'm just like listening to him talk because one thing i'm gonna do is listen to somebody talk so i'm listening to him talk and then he was just like oh like i i gotta go to the bathroom so he ended up getting up going to the bathroom and when he went to the bathroom i ended up pulling on my phone texting my sister like girl i'm having a good time like we vibing he passing the vibe check i'm like yeah he look good he smell good he about to pay for our food and he took me to this nice little mexican restaurant like a man that listens like i'm texting all the good things about him like yeah i think i'm gonna go on another date with him like i really like him like he cool he down there so my sister's like okay cool like that's what's up like all right like i'm happy you having fun i'm like yeah girl but i'm gonna text you back i don't want to be all up on my phone you know when he come back so yeah mm -hmm. so she's like all right have fun of course i'm sharing my location because uh my sister always oh a lot of people have my locations i didn't play that everybody had my location so um i was just like looking on twitter and stuff thinking about making a sad tweet but then i end up closing my phone sending it back down and then i'm just like looking around and stuff so then he ended up coming back, he sat down, and then we just continued talking. And I feel like that's what I really liked about this boy. We could talk. He could talk. I talk too much. He talked too much. Perfect. Perfect. So our food come out. We're eating and stuff. And I'm eating slow. Y'all already know I'm eating like, hee, <laughs> hee, 
like I'm eating super slow because, yeah. And, you know, he's eating, but he ain't eating super fast. But he's still, he's just like eating his food and stuff. And we weren't done with our food. We still had food on our plates, but we was talking. And he was basically just asking me, how long have I been single? And I'm thinking to myself, Nick, you know how long I've been single. Because you just saw me with Nick when you saw me. And that was only like a month or, a month or some change ago. Like, you know that I've only been single for going on probably two months. So I told him, like, yeah, I've been single for about this, this X amount of time. I'm like, what about you? Like, how long you been single? He was just like, oh, I've been single for like a good year now. And I'm like, damn, a year? He was like, yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So he was like, do you mind talking about why you and your ex broke up? And in my head, I really don't like to tell too much. Like, I don't want to tell you, oh, he <laughs> tried to pick up a check at the bus stop, had an unknown kid that he didn't, never want to get a DNA test for, oh, broke up with me because I posted a sexy picture on Twitter. Like, I didn't want to tell him all of that. So I just said, you know what? We just are, our values didn't align. We had, you know, different views on things. And I did mention he was a little... <laughs> Little mama's boy. I didn't mention that because I just want to just fish around a little bit. Like, you are you a mama's boy? Let me know. Like, how deep? How deep is he? Cause I, it's crazy because I love a mama's boy. I love a man that loves his mama. I love that so much because it just lets me know you're gonna treat me right. But sometimes that don't work out, <laughs> as y'all can see. So yeah, I'm just like, yeah, he was a mama's boy too. I'm like, his mama did not like me. I don't know why, but his mama did not like me. So he started cracking up. He like, what do you mean his mama didn't like you? I'm like, bruh, his mama did not like me. His mama met me one time and it was a wrap. She just knew in her heart <laughs> she wasn't messing with me. So he was like, dang, what you do to his mama? I'm like, nothing. I didn't do nothing to her. I'm like, she just was crazy and did not like me. So we're just like laughing because it was, it was funny. Like hearing it out loud, it was kind of funny. Like how the fuck somebody mama meet you one time and don't like you? Like what you do? But yeah, so we laughing and stuff. So I'm just telling him, I'm like, yeah, what about you? Like why are you, why you been single for so long? He's like, man, 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 man. He was like, I don't want to get too much into details because that'll be all night. He was like, but basically my girlfriend, she cheated on me, cheated on him. Then he cheated back. And so she just left. Like she just broke the lease and left. And I was like, hold on, hold on. I said, wait, 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 wait. I said, so you mean to tell me she cheated on you and then you cheated back? So then she broke the lease and just left? He was like, yeah. I'm like, dang, that's crazy. That's crazy. I didn't want to tell him right there, like, oh, I'm a fan of cheating back. You better always cheat back. I didn't want to say that, but I was just like, dang, that's crazy. Like, that is good. Like, dang. And I'm like, dang, so like, damn. And I'm like, oh, the apartment must have not been in his name. Like, it had to have not been his name for her to break the lease and just be like, yeah, it's a wrap. So I'm like, dang, that's crazy. That's crazy. So he was like, yeah, I didn't been through some things. He was like, but other than that, I just kind of just steered away from relationships. It's been like a good year. And I'm happy. I'm doing me. I work. I, I do me. So I'm just like, dang. I'm like, well, hey, you live, you learn. You make better choices. So we're talking and we're we're still just having our little conversation, just talking about, we wasn't talking about our exes, thank God, because I could have went on and on and on and on. And I feel like he probably could have went on and on and on too. But yeah, we ended up talking about other little stuff and he was just like, all right, like, what you want to do next? I'm like, I don't know, like, the night is still young, like, what you want to do? He was like, honestly, we can catch a movie, we can go to the beach. He was just like, yeah, like, well, whatever you want to do, I'm open to whatever you want to do. Like, if it's something that you got an idea, like, we can do it. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, all right, well, we can go to, mm, we can go to the beach. So he was like, all right, cool. I had on something pretty warm, so I wasn't really tripping. So I'm like, okay, yeah, like, this is cool. So he was like, all right, bet. Like, what beach you got in mind? Like, we can go to Santa Monica. We can go to Manhattan. We can go to, and he's just like naming the different ones. So I'm like, hmm. Let's see, which one can we go to? So I'm like, okay, Manhattan Beach is cool because, you know, they got that little, you can walk through the little, you know, a walkway. So you don't have to necessarily be in the sand. You can pretty much just walk. And it's like houses and stuff. So he was like, all right, cool. Like, that's where we're going to go. So we get our little containers. We get our, um, he pays for our food. No problem. He even tipped the waiter. So I said, yeah, you're a keeper. Because I don't know why, but I just feel like when a man take you out on a date, a woman should tip. Like, I feel like that nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. 
But on the first day, no, I never tip because I never do anything. I let this, I just want to see because I'm that type of woman that sometimes when we go on a date, I'm going to pay. So I never just always want a man to just pay for me to go out to eat. No, because I want to do it too. But I just want to see what, see, see what you, what you, what you got up your sleeve first. We get our food. We ended up going. Um, we ended up getting up, going back to the car and I'm holding my to go thing. And then he's holding his and then he just kind of like reached for my hand. And I thought that was so romantic and cute. So we're like holding hands and stuff. And I thought that was so cute y'all because I love to hold hands. Like I'm that girl that's going to hold your hand. I don't care. We could be, we could be out at a restaurant sitting side by side. I want to hold your hand. We could be at the, we could be anywhere grocery store. I want to hold your hand. I just want to hold your hand. Cause I don't want nobody to ever get it up that um you're not my man no you're my man and i'm a proud girlfriend so yeah baby hold my hand because i wish a nigga would because y'all would be y'all would be surprised how many times a mother has tried to come up to me when i've been with my man and say something to me and it'd be like so you you, you don't see my nigga right here you don't see him so yeah but i thought that was so romantic that he grabbed my hand and we were just like holding hands and we like walking to the car and i'm like oh my god i'm just mad because when i get nervous my hands get sweaty so i'm like bro i hope you don't feel the sweat on my hand so we get to the car he opens the door i get in he closed my door and i'm just like oh my god i like this boy so then he gets in the car put his food in the back seat and then he's like all right put his gps in and then we headed to manhattan beach so he just like, yeah, when the last time you've been to the beach? I'm telling him, the last time I've been to the beach was when I had plans, uh, my baby and my nephew birthday party. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't even want to mention nothing else. I'm like, yeah, the last time I've been there, I'm like, I actually was at this beach, um, you know, for my baby's birthday that I had through a couple months prior to this. So he was like, oh, okay, cool. That's what's up. That's what's up. He was like, yeah, I did remember seeing the treats. You be making treats and stuff. He was like, I love treats. So I'm like, yeah, I be doing my little thing with my little cupcakes and stuff. So we ended up talking about treats. I don't know why I've always end up talking about treats. Like treats just can't escape me at all. So he's just like, yeah, you got to make me some one day. I'm like, yeah, I got you. I got you. So we're just like talking. And that's one thing I liked about him, that he could vibe. Like, he could really vibe and talk. So, eventually, when the conversation was just like, mm, he ended up turning up the music and just playing music. So, he's playing his little songs and stuff. Some of the songs I knew, some of the songs I didn't know. But I'm just like, you know, vibing, looking, looking over at him, kind of just smiling and stuff. Every time we locked eyes, we would smile. So, we get to the beach. Once we get there, he parks his car, and then we walk down to the beach. We're walking down and he's just like, yeah, I ain't been to the beach in a minute. Like, it's been a long time. I'm just like, dang, yeah. I'm like, it's crazy because I live so close to the beach, but I never really come to the beach like that. He's like, man, tell me about it. He's like, that is so crazy. He was like, because when I didn't live close to the beach, I would always go to a beach. He was like, but no, he was like the same thing with me. So we're talking and stuff. He ended up grabbing my hand. And we're just like holding hands again. It, I don't know why. I just thought that was so romantic, y'all. Like, I really did. So, we're just walking. Walking up and down the little um, the little sidewalk at the beach. And just like looking at the water. Looking at the houses. We're just walking. And we're talking. So, we finally find a spot that was cool. We're chilling right there. And we're just, I don't know. We're just kind of just side by side. Holding hands. Looking at the water. So then he ended up letting my hand go and then he comes up from behind. So now he's like got his arms like like this around me and I'm just like this and he's tall. So yeah, he got his arms around me like this and I'm just like, you know, I just feel him on me. But he didn't have his man all up on me. He just kind of was like holding me like that. So as we're talking and we're constantly just like having our little conversation and stuff, I feel his man's on me. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, I feel this man's thing on me. And yeah, it's ready for something. So I'm like, okay, that's that's okay. All right, it's okay. We're just, you know, we're, we're vibing. So we're talking. And when I tell y'all we was having a conversation, we could have been having a conversation about rainbows and, 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 and butterflies and helicopters and, 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 and flowers. I'm thinking like, why is this man on me so hard? Like he's on me, like it's it's hard and it's on me. So I'm just feeling it, you know, poking me. So I kind of like, kind of like tried to scoot up a little bit, but I scoot up a little bit, he come back. So then I'm like, okay, yeah, this is all right. All right, you, you're taking it too far now. I like you now, Kai, but you're doing too much. 
So then I like kind of like move, move his hands a little bit, kind of to like let me go. So then he like let me go. He like, you good? You good? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, yeah. Um, somebody excited. So he was like, my bad, my bad. And he kind of like tried to like move it out the way. And I'm like, no, nah. <laughs> you alright? You know? Cause I'm like, okay, yeah. And over the wall, you can kind of see the water and stuff. Like I don't know, it was like a some some type of fence. It was like a fence or whatever. So as we're standing up against that, we're kind of just like this and looking at the water, we're still just talking. So then that's when he grabs, he puts his arms around my waist. And I'm like, okay. He a little touchy feely, but it's cool, it's cool. I'm like, it's 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 fine. So then he pulls me closer, and now I'm standing again. He never this time. He got me in front of him and he don't got his arms over me. This time he got his arms around my waist and he's like pulling me closer. So I'm like, okay, this is getting awkward as hell. Like this is getting awkward as hell. What the fuck? Like what the, what the fuck? So then I'm like, oh, how am I going to get up out of this? How am I going to get up out of this without, without being, without doing too much, without making a scene, without making him feel like, oh yeah. Like, you know, like, first of all, this man didn't drove me. Yeah, I can get home. Like, it's not a problem. Like if he was to do anything, I got my own money. I can get home, you know, but it's just like, still like, nigga, I want you to take me back home. So then I'm just like, okay, it's cool. It's all right. Don't do too much. Like it's, it's just, it's not all right. But I was just like, okay. So then he grabs my hand right grabs my hand and he puts it on his area he just like yeah like yeah that's what he kept saying yeah yeah and he's like trying to he's holding my hand rubbing it against him and i'm like in my head at first i'm like this ain't really happening like this man ain't he ain't taking my hand rubbing him he's not doing that like there's there's no way that this man is really doing this so it's i feel like it took me a, a minute to register what was going on because i was so shocked that this man did this like i swear i was just like okay am i in the twilight zone like what just happened how did we go from good to worse how did we go from good to bad like what what, what am i missing like, did I black out and say some freaky shit? Like, what happened? So, I'm sitting there, like, irritated. I'm so mad. But when I snatched my hand back, I was just like, oh, what you on? Because, Nick, what the fuck are you on? Like, are you crazy? Like, who does that? Who does that? And I feel like he really was trying to get me to feel the size of him. So, that way I know what he working with. Nigga, I don't need to know what you're working with. Like, let, like it could that could have came natural, bro. Like, that could have came so natural. I'm like... This is so fucking weird. Oh, I promise y'all, I was so annoyed. But I didn't catch no attitude. I didn't be like, oh, no. Like, I didn't do that because I just knew in my head, oh, you're never seeing my face again. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Because you won't see me again. So, you're, you, you, don't worry about it. But, yeah, I don't know. In that moment, it did kind of make me feel hella. It made me feel uncomfortable because this is our first day and you're trying to already see, get me to feel your mans. And I don't want to feel your mans. Like, I don't want to touch you at all. So, like... Why you, why you ruin something that could have been a good thing? Like, this could have been a good thing. We could have vibed and had a great time and could have been planning our next day. So then I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, now I'm I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable because you keep trying to get me to feel you. And I don't want to touch you. You're rubbing up against me. Like, you're basically letting me know, hey, I want to do this. And that's what I want to do. And I feel like once you do that one time, I automatically think that that's all you want from me. You just want this to be strictly, you know, sure and i'm not on it i don't i don't want to be a part of that at all so i'm just like damn oh my god how we, how how i'm gonna get out of this we ain't been at the beach that long but you know we we've been here for a minute so i'm just like oh it's cold like i'm getting cold like oh so he's just like oh like i got a blanket and a jacket in the car if you want to go get that like we can we can go get it so i'm just like oh yeah because it's getting cold like it's getting cold right so I'm playing it off because I already knew once we got to the car, I was going to get in the car and be like, oh, like, let's just, oh, it's warm in here. Like, I want to just stay in here. Like, it's a little warm. Like, I already knew. So once we got to the car, um, he do we, I did just that. I got in the car and I sat down and I was just like, oh, like, where's the blanket? So he gave me the blanket and I just wrapped it around me and I was just like, oh, yeah, it's cold. Like, I wish I had like some hot chocolate or something because I'm trying to like get him to, you know, like, let's move on. Like, now I'm ready to go home. I'm, I'm ready to go. So he's just like, oh, like we can go to the store. Like I can go grab something at the store. We can make us some, um, get us some hot chocolate from like 7-Eleven. So I'm like, okay, yeah, like that sounds cool. That sounds cool. So then we ended up getting, we ended up um, going to 7-Eleven. 
So we get there and then I get out the car, he gets out the car and then we go in there and then I get me a hot chocolate. He didn't get him nothing. So then he pays for it. We go back to the car and I'm just like drinking it and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I feel so much better. I'm like, it's so crazy because hot chocolate make me so sleepy. And I feel like in that moment, he knew, yeah, she ready to go home. So he was just like, all right, well, let me know, like, when you ready to go home. So I told him, I'm like, yeah, like, I'm getting tired. So, yeah, I am ready to go home. So he was like, all right, cool. Like, I'll take you home. He ended up putting my address in, and then we head back to where I live. He ended up finding a park, and I was so irritated because I'm like, oh, my God, he found a park. You never really find parks for real, for real. So I'm like, damn, he ain't trying to just drop me off, get off, give me a hug, you know, get out, give me a hug, and just go. This motherfucker want to sit in the car and still chat. So I'm like, so I'm sitting there still drinking my hot chocolate. I'm barely sipping it, but it looked like I'm really, like, you know, drinking it once it cooled off. So he's just talking, telling me how much he had a good time, and, like, he would love to see me again. And I'm just like, yeah, I had a good time with you, too. We most definitely got to do something again. I'm like, because that food at the restaurant was so good. Like, you was right. They have some good food there. And I'm like, I just hate that I'm just so anemic and I'm always cold. I'm like, I thought I was going to be able to hang at the beach, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always cold. So, he's like, no, it's good. It's good. He was like, it's all good. I got to go to work in the, in the morning anyways. We probably would have been at the beach all night. So, I started laughing because, boy, no, we wouldn't have been. But I'm like, oh, I got to pee. Like, I got to go to the bathroom. So he's just like, no, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. And then I'm about to, y'all, I literally had my hand on the thing. I'm like, all right, well, bye. And I had my hand on the damn door handle because I was about to open the door, get out the car, walk slow, and then run. <laughs> I'm dramatic. But before I did that, he was like, can I have a hug? And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll give you a hug. So I flipped my hair because my hair, you know, my little ponytail was like right here. So I moved my hair out the way. And I reached over to give him a hug. So when I reached over to give him a hug, you know, when you pull back, he kind of like grabbed me and kissed me. When I tell y'all that kiss caught me off guard, like I was not expecting for that man to kiss me. Like he literally let go and just like went in and just kissed me. Like it was so uncalled for. It wasn't even like mutual. I didn't want to kiss. I, I didn't even ask for no damn kiss. But it was the fact that he really just kissed me on my lips. And I was like, oh. <gasps> Oh, my God. And I didn't, like, pull away and wipe off my lips and be like, you nasty mother. I just kind of, like, let, like, pulled off. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> all right. And then I was like, all right, well, um, text me. Because I already knew in that moment, mm-mm, mm-mm, no, this was not about to happen again. Hell no. So he was just like, all right, I'm going to text you. I'm going to text you. So I get out the car and I'm walking slow. And I wait to hear his car, like, you know, drive off a little bit. And that's so why I turned into the apartments that was, like, right there. And so right when I turned into him and I heard him like drive off, so I was like, oh, so I stood, I stood there for a minute because I'm like, uh, what if you made a U-turn or something? So I kind of like just stood in a, the little stairway a little bit, like back up against the stairway, like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I waited like a good five minutes and then I ended up calling my sister on the phone and then I walked to my apartment and I'm just telling her like, girl, I just went on this date and this motherfucker didn't put his lips on me. He kept trying to make me feel his thing i'm like he had it on my butt like he just was doing too much like i don't i don't know where where where, where we went wrong we never talked about anything like that but i'm like where the, did we go wrong so she like girl what the fuck i'm like yes i'm like i'm so irritated i'm so mad i'm like i'm never seeing this boy ever again i'm not ever seeing him i'm like he was weird as hell and she's like no it's cool it's cool i'm like all right well i just got in the house right now so i'm in the house and i'm like oh my god i take off all my clothes i get in the shower i'm still on the phone with my sister i'm still just telling her i'm just like girl men always mess up a good thing like they, they they always ruin something good and i really don't understand why like the date was going so good why did you feel the need to want me to touch on you or you felt it was okay to put your body parts on me and then like like, I, I just didn't understand. I was so lost. I'm like, damn, it's so crazy. Like, I can't never meet somebody that is normal. Like, he came off so normal. That's the thing. He really was normal at first. Like, what? what? It was like a switch like this. Like, did this monk go do a line in the bathroom? Like, what, what happened? So, I'm just, like, talking on the phone with my sister. And I ended up getting a call from him. Y'all, I did not answer that call. I was like, mm -mm, no, I am not answering this man's call. I'm good. So then he ended up texting and was just like, I just made it home. Um, just checking on you. I know you probably sleep by now, but good night. I had a great time with you. So I'm just sitting there looking at the message like this month cannot be serious. So but I'm like, I'm not about to, I, I'm just looking at it on my phone at the, on the screen. I'm like, yeah, I'm not responding back to this at all. So then 
I'm still just talking on the phone with my sister and we talked on the phone until I went to sleep. The next morning, the next morning I get a good morning, beautiful text. I'm like, yeah, I'm not mm -mm, <laughs> responding to this. I don't know why I just didn't think to just block. I don't know why I feel like back then, me just blocking somebody, I just didn't want them to know just yet that I blocked them because of course there's nothing to call somebody um, a private or call off another phone and be like, yeah, but you blocked me. <laughs> like, but I just always want to wait until I block somebody just so they wouldn't, you know, they don't expect it. Like imagine you go on a date. Well, he was weird. So no, they're, they're different. I'm like, yeah, I'm not texting back and I text back. So I didn't text him back. I go to work. I get off work, all that. Still didn't text him back. I get another text and he was just like, so you're not interested? Still didn't text back because yeah, no, I'm, I'm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So then he calls me, y'all. Uh, I didn't answer. He called again. I answered. I'm like, okay, let me just answer. Let me just tell him like, yeah, I'm not interested or I got back with my boyfriend or, you know, let me just make up something. So then he was just like, so yeah, hey, like, how you doing? What's up? I ain't heard from you. What, what's going on? And I was just like, oh, I just been really busy today. Like I got up and had, I was running late to work. I'm making up some shit. I don't know why I just, I can not never just be mean. Like I, it, it takes a lot for me to be mean. So I'm just like, yeah, I was running late and da, da, da. He was just like, oh, I just thought you wasn't trying to mess with me like that. Like, I thought we had a good date. So I just wasn't sure what was going on. So I told him, I'm like, yeah, no, you cool. I'm like, we had a great time. But I don't, you know, I just don't think like right now is a good time for me to be trying to talk to somebody. I'm still kind of like hurt behind my egg. So, you know, I just need to just like heal. So he was like, heal? And y'all, he started spazzing out on me. Like when I tell you that nigga started spazzing out on me, he was like, heal? What the, like I just took you out last night. You wasn't saying none of that. But now all of a sudden you need to heal. That's what's wrong with y'all bitches. When I tell you that caught me by surprise because I was not expecting for this man to cuss me out like that. I was like, oh my God. I was like, nigga, you got me. So I said my little twos and fuse and I was like, your mama's, bitch. and then I just hung up. Because I was like, that's it's crazy like it can't like i get you being mad but how can you be mad when you did something weird and good thing i told you that i just wanted to heal like i could have been like yeah nigga, i'm not going with you you're a weird ass good like you're weird as good. but i didn't do that so then i hung up and i blocked him instantly y'all why did this nigga call me off of a whole nother phone he called me off another phone. I answered the phone. He like, yeah, you got me up. You had to send me the money that i spent on you last night i said yeah no that ain't happening hung up Block that number. What if this nigga text me off of another number? <laughs> Yo, he was cussing me out so bad. I was like, oh my God. How are you mad at me? Because you were a pervert. Like, you literally did some weird to me. And you're mad at me. Like, I don't know, y'all. He just was crazy. It's, like, he just started spazzing out. And I was like, what the? Fuck? Like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> and so on Twitter, he blocked me. And I had blocked him. But y'all know how Twitter is. Like, you still can see somebody tweets when you block somebody. It's so weird. I don't know if they changed it. But back then, yeah, you still could see somebody tweets. It's pointless and blocking somebody. He was, like, going on a Twitter rant. Like, he was literally talking so much on Twitter. Like, yeah, I took this bitch on a date. And this bitch the next day going to say she wants, she needs to heal. She don't want to. <laughs> want to talk to nobody right now she needs to heal he just was putting weird shit on there like yeah all you bitches is the same my light just died y'all but yeah he was on twitter just ranting like going off and i'm just like oh i didn't even do nothing to you buddy like but i was like thank god like, that's exactly why i wanted to really get to know him like i really hate that i didn't sit there and get to know him because i feel like if i would have got to know him for that month or two that i'd be giving people then i would have realized um some weeks ago that he was not going to be somebody i was going to go on a date with but yeah y'all he just Spaz out on me was saying all that crazy shit on Twitter. Um, I would randomly get private calls like every now and then, but I stopped answering him because I kind of just felt like it was him because then nobody had that number for real. And I wasn't talking to no nigga that a female would try to call me or anything like that. So I'm just like, yeah, it gotta be him. Like, y'all, he was really upset. So when I brought back my Instagram, when I bought back my Instagram, I brought my Instagram back like some weeks after that. I didn't even think about him. Like, I didn't even think like, oh yeah, he's still my friend on instagram y'all when i brought my instagram back i had posted a picture when i posted a picture why does he like the picture he liked the picture that he sent the picture to me it was like you look good y'all i was like this is crazy i left it on scene and i went and i blocked him because i said this is crazy like what was up with him and i really feel like yeah um this month was really was uh, a psychopath 
But yeah, after that, I had never seen him again. Um, don't know if he still was trying to call. I eventually got a, a whole new number like a good year or so later. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what went wrong. I don't know, y'all. That was a good day. To me, I feel like that was a good day. Like, why did he feel the need to want to? I don't know. I feel like it was a good day. Like, why did he feel the need to want me to touch him and want me to fill up on him? Like, it didn't even give that. Like, imagine y'all having a normal conversation and the man just takes your hand and puts it on your on his area. Like, I don't know. That, that, that was very strange. It was very, very, very strange. But, yeah, I learned my lesson in that type of situation. I, whew, I, I learned a few lessons, for real. Like, when somebody do something like that to you, uh-uh, you need to say something in that moment. Like, yeah, no, I don't feel comfortable touching you. Like, we just met. Um, Don't do that. Mm -mm, no. Like, you have to do that. Don't be a person that feel like, oh, no, I don't want to be too mean. I don't want to do this. And I feel like a, the part of, a part of me not trying to be too mean is in certain situations that, I didn't do nothing. A mother didn't damn near try to attack me. So it's like, yeah, I told you the story how the nigga pulled me by my tracks. Like he literally, and I didn't even do nothing. So I feel like I got PTSD from certain situations and I didn't want to blow that out of proportion or I didn't want to do too much. But yeah, most definitely if somebody makes you feel uncomfortable, always speak up for yourself. Always just say, hey, and it's a nice way you can say it. Hey, I don't feel comfortable touching on you. I just met you. This is my first day. Like I'm not on that, you know, like just kind of, Say it in a nice way and always have your own money. Always have your own money so you can pay for your own things when you go and get in somebody's car. And that's another thing, too. We should have met up at the restaurant. Even though I still would have went to the beach with him. I still would have went. I would have drove right to the beach. But, you know, whether you go on the first day with somebody and they act weird the first time or the second time or the third time. If a month is weird, a month is just going to be weird. The first day, second day, third day, fourth day. They, did. they already got it in them. So you can't prevent it. That's just who they are. But yeah, y'all, that is the ending of this story time. I really hope y'all enjoyed this story time, y'all. So I want to start doing, um, I should have said this in the beginning, but I want to start doing um, like subscriber stories. So I think I'm going to make an email. I might make it. Should I make it now? I might make an email and put it in my um, description box so y'all can send it to me and I can start doing stories because I kind of want to hear y'all stories too. Y'all know I'm nosy and I just want to know what be going on with y'all because if y'all love my stories, I think I'm going to love y'all stories too. So I kind of want to hear what y'all got to talk about. So if I don't put the email in this description box in this story time, then I'll do it in the next video that I post. But yeah, y'all, I want to hear y'all stories. So y'all send them in so I could read them on my channel. I don't know why, but I'm super excited to do it. I want to do it so bad. I, I, I just do. But yeah, and we got to come up with a name. So can y'all help me come up with a name too? Because I don't know what to call it. Like, what should we call that little, um, the subscriber story times? Like, what should we call it? Like, let's come up with something cute. And the person that come up with the, like, the best name, I'm going to pin your comment. And then if everybody like it, then yeah. But even if everybody don't like it, if I like it, we're going to use it. We're going to use it. But yeah, y'all, that is the end of the story time. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all so much. All right, y'all. Bye.